What's good? This is Noah from High Snob, live from Paris, and today is the most anticipated show of the season. This is Virgil Abloh's first menswear collection with Louis Vuitton. He has decided to do it at the Palais Royal. Everyone is here, as you can see. There are so many people just outside waiting to get a glimpse. Just They just want to be a part of the action. Everyone is currently inside. The show is right now. Hopefully afterwards we're going to be able to talk to a few people and we're going to get their feedback on what they thought of the show. All right, so what did you guys think of the show? You can see the scale. It's extremely important, I think, in terms of today's culture and, and where things are going. I think it, this was extremely impactful. Uh, it changes a lot of things of the perception of what the fashion industry is and can be. The accessories in general were just amazing. I mean, especially my, from a, if I'm an owner of an accessories brand, to, to see the level that Louis Vuitton just went to is incredible. It's fun, it's sophisticated, it's like, I mean, I want to carry, I want to carry most of those pieces. It was, it was truly incredible. It's extremely exciting. It's, it's, it, you can see the tide turning, uh, and it was really cool to see a traditional take on, you know, there was, there was a lot of tailoring, uh, you know, the, the volume and bottoms. It wasn't like streetwear driven, but there was an ethos to it, but I think like the accessories were just out of, the wor out of this world. They were insane. They were so good and, and very thoughtful and playful at the same time, which I think is really cool. It's, it's, it's an, kind of a new standard. We're with Gian, High Snob Fam, lucky enough to get inside. You see the shirt? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm probably not gonna open this. I'm just gonna keep it like at my desk. How insane was that show? It was a moment, man. Like, you know, I've been going to fashion shows for a long time, but you can just tell when it's like a moment. And then, you know, as a brown kid growing up in Virginia, never thinking I would be at Paris Fashion Week, let alone sitting at Vuitton to see, you know, another minority at the helm of the house and to see a multicultural runway super diverse uh it looks like you know me when i was younger um is one moment that like you know kind of made me tear up and then this the significance of it the fact that there was like a live band playing uh instrumentals of kanye's newest album the fact that kanye was there just felt like a lot of circles were being closed in a good way and then you know it's really like the next step for the progression of Vuitton and for Virgil as a designer and image maker and uh, really just like the industry, you know, it's like the Wild West is finally starting to be tamed and here's what it's starting to look like. All right, man, so what'd you think of the show? I thought it was great. I thought, uh, you know, the show itself was fantastic. I thought the color stories were, uh, you know, really nice. Starting off with the white was, uh, you know, it was very unique and I think it was, you know, a good first start for him. Um, I think more importantly, it was, you know, hopefully emblematic of kind of a sea change in the industry, you know, uh, seeing more minorities in positions of, you know, influence, um, seeing a more diverse runway. Um, I think, you know, even the crowd itself, uh, I think, Hopefully it's the uh, the page turning for the industry and you know kind of furthering the the democratization of fashion to a degree. Um, I think when a, a house like LV opens their doors up to someone like Virgil who has you know not your typical background, um, it's a really special thing. And to be there for the first collection was uh, was pretty amazing. Did it uh, surpass your expectations? And what were your expectations? I mean, to be honest, I you know I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, you know, it's a lot of responsibility with a house like LV and and with their legacy and. Um, you know, being a fan of Off-White, but, you know, clearly knowing that Virgil had to change it up for uh, for this collection, you know, my expectations were kind of mixed. I didn't really know what to expect, and uh, I think he exceeded the expectations. Um, you know, obviously he's accessory heavy with LV, and, and those were great, but I think more importantly the clothing was uh, actually really well designed and uh, very well thought out, which was, um, you know, which was great. And it's a it's great, great moment for Virgil. What uh, key pieces do you think you're going to try to try to get your hands on? <laughs> I saw a few, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big sweaters, knitwear kind of guy, so I saw a few really amazing pieces that I'm going to look to look to buy, and then obviously a few accessories, you know. So, we'll so man, that. thank you, man. All right.